I'm on my way to the lighthouse because you already know your girl's obsessed with lighthouses and I'm blessed that it's a beautiful day today. It's a real nice day today. It's very windy though. It's still really nice though. Look at the view. Look at this view. relaxing trips I've ever been on. I'm so relaxed and I'm like stress-free. Like I have no stress. Like I'm still slightly under the weather but when it comes to life stress and anything else like that, non-existent. I don't think I've been able to say that in a long time so it's been really dope. But this is the name. For those who ever want to check it out. It's older, but it's still here and seems like it's still an active lighthouse, so there's that. But, oh, location-wise, just in case you're wondering, I'm like the southeastern coast of the, um, of the island, so there's that. total reverse order so I just went from the lighthouse and from the lighthouse I went to the ruins and um, from the ruins I'm just now leaving um, having lunch because <clears throat> it was I would say it was late breakfast early lunch so pretty much lunch um, because I had my AG1 for breakfast for the most part and then I had um, the street food for lunch and that street food was it was hidden it was hidden I had um, two different things. I had like um, a crab meat type base um, food that was like in a, that was deep fried. It was just all crab meat. And then the other one was like a um, lobster one. That shit was banging. The one that I took a picture of was, the first one I took a picture of was a crab one. The second one I took a picture of where you saw the inside of it was the um, lo um, lobster 
And I felt so bad because there was like a stray cat that definitely needs food. But I don't know what the rules are around here when it comes to cats. I don't know if it's a cat. Like, I don't play those games. I mean, Circuit Real House while he's in Miami. I don't ever assume. But the cat looks like it definitely... It was, it was begging for the food. <laughs> but I didn't do that because I was like, mm, I don't know about that. But yeah. Anyway, so I'm off now to go ahead and go to next destination. So yeah. Yeah. As you can tell, side note, you can probably tell that I feel so much better than I did from day one and day two. This is day three now. I feel so rested. I've been, I've been so relaxed. The driving has been the most stressful thing and the driving isn't even that bad. It's actually quite cool. It's kind of scenic. If you're someone who's really into scenic fun drives, this is a good place to drive. But if you're not a good driver, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. I'm a decent driver, so I don't mind it. But yeah, because the roads are pretty narrow and um, very windy because I'm, I'm just coming from the mountain areas. But now it's not so bad because I'm closer to like the um, coast. But anyway, that's that on that. We out. So I'm at my next destination. Um, I'm checking. Let me try to show you what I'm checking out exactly. It is this. not exactly sure. I forgot what it was, but it's a historical site. I do want to Google figure out what it is later on. But I knew it was a historical site and to check it out um, before I left this part of the island because I'm going west. So I'm just kind of doing the scenic thing. Just in case you didn't know, I don't think I mentioned that before, but that's what I'm doing. But anyway. Alright, so I am out and about again a little bit. And I'm about to check out the outside museum. Don't think I'm going into it. I just want to see what it looks like because it looks pretty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's mainly here for the look and feel. It's gorgeous. All right, now I'm not gonna be here that long. At this point, now I need to get to the next destination. So there's that. Anyway, I will see you later. Hey, so this is one of the last places I am kind of going to before I end up going to going to um, Ponce. I think it's called Ponce. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Ponce for a little bit to look at more like things, but this is one of the last things I wanted to look at before that. Um, this is a park. I don't think. Head east on Puerto Rico 7710. Sorry. This is that. That is all. On to the next thing.
So it's still day three. I made it to my Airbnb. And um, yeah, I'm ready to go and order some food. Um, you probably saw my previous video. I kind of was trying to, and I, yeah, my face is already breaking out, child. <laughs> when it comes to like the other things that you don't have planned happening, that's been happening. So um, I was under the weather the first two days of the trip. I'm starting to finally feel better today, which was perfect because that's the time where I really was wanting to explore anyway. And I was able to explore, as you saw. Um, but what happens a lot of times whenever I'm fighting things, I break out. So I had something happening here. It's no longer there, but this is really just obvious and it's getting on my nerves. Got something here. So I got toothpaste here to get that out of there. And yeah, it's been a mess. My face doesn't look the way I want it to look right now. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's just vanity things. But I changed my outfit yet again. And wearing she I'm working with. Oh yeah. Um, yes, there's a swimming there's a swimsuit underneath this. Um, there's definitely a swimsuit underneath because my Airbnb that I'm staying at right now has a hot tub and also has places where I can sunbathe. And I haven't been able to do that the past first two days I was here because day zero, technically technically this is day Yeah, this is technically day two, like full day two. But day zero slash day one, no, wasn't able to really do anything because it was rainy, like that, like when I got here. Day one <clears throat> slash two, um, because I don't really count the first day of me arriving somewhere as a day. I count that as like day zero because things can happen, which it did, um, and you can't really count that as a day. So really, yesterday was like my first full day. And today is my second full day. So to, today being the second full day, I was out and about. I like did a whole bunch of stuff, especially because I felt a lot better. And this time around, um, because I'm here, I'm actually in a different part of Puerto Rico right now. So I started off at the southeastern part of Puerto Rico, and now I'm on the west side of Puerto Rico, like right by like um, the coast. So I'm more seaside this time around. Um, Caribbean Sea, to be exact. I'm closer to that. Um, but Northern East, um, I'll put the name here where I'm at. Um, and also, I've had more struggles of speaking Spanish slash English with ordering the food. Um, but it's gotten done. Gas, that was the whole another thing. So I was in a town that was like not really close to a major city and no one spoke English. Except for this lady who was a customer right behind me, her husband. So she calls her husband's like, hey, can you translate what she's trying to say to the cashier? Because because also, too, a lot of things cash, a lot of places around here is cash only. Like a lot. So pro tip, make sure you have plenty of cash on you. That I already knew because I've been told by multiple people a lot of places around here is cash only. So make sure you have cash on you. Um, also, besides that, um, to make sure that... For gas, is liters, right? So I had to kind of figure out, I had to do the math to figure out how many liters my gas tank is for this rental car that I don't even know that I have. Like, I don't know. So I guess. I was like, I think 20 bucks will get it done. Because it wasn't, I didn't, it wasn't empty. It wasn't even, it was a little bit under half a tank. I was like, let's just go ahead and put gas in it. <laughs> and 20 got done. And I had to bring and I could not remember what 20 was in Spanish. And that's all I was trying to say. Because I did not want to give her 100. And then she doesn't give anything back. It's like, no, I need 20 in gas. And it was a whole thing. But anyway, we figured it out. We worked it out. No big deal. <laughs> but that was my little struggle that I had for today when it came to the language barrier. Because that's the thing. If you're, if you're especially if you're somewhere... On in Puerto Rico, that is not the main places. If it's not the main places and you're kind of in between somewhere, good luck with that. <laughs> uh, you better have some decent, decent, like, knowledge of Spanish. Like, somewhat decent. Um, I have somewhat decent, but of course, when I'm doing all this, I left my phone in my car, so I could not even do the Google Translator or nothing. I was just kind of like, pop quiz. <laughs> 
but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So let me show you a little what we got going on here. So I'm not going to be doing that until tomorrow because you can still hear it. I'm still not really all the way okay yet. And it's really pretty. It's really small and quaint, it's straight to the point. But um, I will definitely show you the outside once I do that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some food. I think I'm going to, I was thinking about getting it to go. But I was like, no, experience the island. You're starting to feel better. You have, you're, you're good to go. You, I, I, I'm, because, oh, side note, this, this time of the year, whenever season change for me, I don't get sick per se. It's sinuses. My sinuses are a nightmare. So that's what happened. I am having sinus issues. So I got some sinus stuff. Um, and it's already feeling better. That's why, that's the other reason why I know it's sinus. Cause when it's sinus, it goes away really quickly. And I also don't ever get a cough when the sinus is just all here. And that's all that was happening this whole entire time was all in here. It never went in my chest. So nothing respiratory whatsoever that I have going on. Thank God. Because if it would have gone to respiratory, I would have been questioning like, uh oh, <laughs> I hope I don't have why I don't want to have. Because I, at th this point, I still, I, to my knowledge, I still haven't had that yet. So I want to keep that pushing. <laughs> anyway, um, I just wanted to check in like, hey. I'm in my new spot and I'm going to check, um, bring you with me when it comes to the food because I'm about to do some foody things a little bit because your girl's hungry and I'm also going to get more water because <laughs> I have not been drinking enough water because of the traveling. Um, but yeah, we're going to get caught up with the water tomorrow and today we're going to try to get somewhat caught up. The AG1, for those who... This is not an ad, but the AG1 be hidden. It is, it's been, because I was like, should I bring all of my vitamins and stuff that I take every single day? I was like, oh my gosh, that's going to be a nightmare to travel with all that. I was like, let me just try the AG1 instead. Child, it gives me all the energy. I didn't even need coffee. That's how good this AG1 stuff is. I haven't even had coffee yet, which is wild because this is one of the main reasons why I'm even here. <laughs> but tomorrow we're going to do that. There's plenty of coffee cafes around, especially this part of the island. I was, at, I was a little, the place I was at before, I was at a very remote location and it was hard to get in and out of. So that's why I wasn't really leaving there too. It wasn't also because it, it was this, but it was also that. Here, child, nine day. <laughs> this is more of a touristy area. People be coming to visit. So the roads are together. It's less of an issue. I was able to find the Airbnb just fine. Actually, in both cases, I was able to find the Airbnb just fine. It wasn't the Airbnb per se. It was just like the roads. And the roads this time around are a lot better because this is a little bit more developed. Um, and maybe, I don't remember, I'm thinking this part wasn't as impacted by the hurricane. So this might be also the other reason why this is okay. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, later. I totally did get a drink. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. The food looks so good. It looks so tasty. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have something. I, I, and also the food was excellent. So if you're ever in this area, the way I would rec recommend going to this place, yeah, I'll recommend it big time. It's so good, so worth it. Anyway, I'm about to show you the backyard real quickly because I'm about to be outside uh, this is actually the yard i'll show you i got here a little too late but i'll have to show you like in the morning when, it's, when the sun's out but yeah yeah it's about to go down i'm about to be in the hot tub i'm about to relax i'm about to chill and on to the next day so yeah. good time
Sent the rocks across the 